Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Albany VSTR, which is released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now, I'm really impressed with the way this vehicle looks. I think it looks really cool for a luxury type of vehicle. Do you know what I mean? This is the sort of vehicle that I'd love to have if I was rich and people were driving me about. This is the sort of vehicle that I'd probably purchase as um, sort of like the luxury chauffeur driven vehicle you know so if any further ado guys let's get into this and as always we're going to start with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes front bumper we get the custom splitter uh nah, not on these types of vehicles i think they look weird as fuck because like i said man this is a luxury vehicle this isn't a sports car this isn't a track car this is the sort of thing that you get people to drive you around in that's the type of vehicle this is, and to have sports splitters on them, not not a fan, man, not a fan at all. So I'm gonna skip past the bumpers, go go to the engine, get the level four engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. So the stock exhausts actually look really good. Nice big quads, quad exhausts, and then we can change them to the ovals. I think they look a little bit weird. Then we've got the twin bores. And then the aluminium versions of them, and the titanium, and then the carbon versions. And then we've got the big bores, so it's just the uh, single ones. To be honest, I think the quads look better. And I think the stock, oh, you can have them from the side. Oh, oh, nice, and they actually put caps in the rear bumper as well, which is a nice touch. Because if there's holes left there, it'll look a little bit weird. But I think... These ones look a little bit nice, the quad exhausts, and I really like the titanium ones, so I'm going to go with those. Then we've got the grill, we can debadge the grill, that's about it. Um, debadged, does it look better debadged? I think it does, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll go with debadge it. Then we've got the hood, we've got the carbon version of the stock hood, then the smoothed out. That looks pretty cool. I actually like that. And the carbon version of that. And then the vented. Um, see, this is going into track day car territory. Perform even though the performance one actually looks really nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any of these crazy looking hoods. Maybe the performance hood. Oh, I don't know, man. That performance hood actually looked really good. Yeah, let's get up. Then we've got the hood catches. Now, I think this is taking it one step too far. For me so i'm gonna say none for the hood catchers then we've got the horns the lights we're gonna go headlights and change them to the xeon headlights so then we do get an option for liveries i 100 am not getting a livery for this but we will go through them so you can see so we've got the black stripes the white stripes and then the two-tone hmm, a little bit strange that one and then yeah these are the types of things that don't belong anywhere near this type of vehicle that is weird as fuck. so you've got camo on one side Alright mate, alright, yeah, definitely not my sort of thing, so I'm going to stay none for the liveries, then we've got the mirrors, so we can change them to the primary, the carbon, or we can have aftermarket mirrors, which are huge, that's weird man, you'd expect these aftermarket mirrors to be the stock mirrors, and then these ones to be the aftermarket mirrors, because they look more sporty, a little bit more sleek, so that's a little bit of a strange choice. To have the massive wing mirrors <laughs> as the aftermarket ones. Um, I actually like the little touch of them being a different colour, like that. But mm, yeah, I'm gonna stay stock for the mirrors. So then we've got a respray. We're gonna go primary colour. We're gonna go classic. And I think I'm gonna go with uh, nothing in the. <laughs> primary colour for classic. I'm going to come out and go into metallic and I think the black steel really suits this vehicle. It does look really nice. But then we've got black, metallic black looks awesome. I'm going to go metallic black. I think it's been a while since I've um, had a black vehicle. So yeah, we're going to go metallic black. Secondary colour, we're going to go metallic also. But we're going to change these to the formula red. And we do get a trim color as well, which I'm assuming is going to be the stitching on the seats. Which it is, so we're going to change that to red. 
and then we've got the roof option we've got the secondary or the carbon um, second now I think that's a little bit too a little bit too far so I'm gonna stay stock for the roof then we've got the side skirt so we've got the street skirt the carbon the race and the carbon race uh, I think I'm just going to go with a street skirt. Then we've got the spoiler. Loads of options for spoilers, man. Uh, low level. I don't think this is really going to suit a spoiler. Unless it's just the ducktail one. Yeah, these ones are a little bit strange. I'm not a fan of the bolted one. Uh, so I think I'm just going to stay stock for the spoiler. Suspension, we are going to get the sport suspension. Transmission, we're going to get the race transmission and obviously the turbo tuning. Then we do get an option of vortex generators. So we. That's not a vortex generator, that is an antenna. <laughs> that is a fin antenna. Why are they called that a vortex generator? That is a fin antenna for the radio. But nevertheless, we are going to get one and it's just going to be the primary color. For the wheels, I don't think I'm going to change the wheels to be fair because these are awesome and I don't think there's any other wheels in any other category which are going to look nicer so I'm going to stay stock for the wheels for the windows we are going to get the light smoke window tint and that is it my dudes so as you pull out of LS customs you'll see this car just looks awesome maybe a little bit less luxurious and a little bit more aggressive than what it did do um, mainly because it's lowered and I've blacked it out a little bit and debadged it put a meaner hood on um, I don't think it takes away the, the luxurious element of it too much. I still think it looks awesome. I'm really happy with the way this looks, man. It's a very, very nice looking vehicle Rockstar have given us. I don't think I've told you a price yet. This is going to cost 1.2, almost $1.3 million. So it's very expensive in the sports category. The Albany VSTR. I don't think it's going to actually be worth $1.2 million. That is very expensive. And like I said, this looks like a luxury car rather than a sports car uh, so let's have a little drive anyway and just see how it performs the acceleration actually felt quite sluggish mm, yeah I'm not really a fan of its performance it feels really slow the acceleration is not great uh, the handling seems a little bit temperamental the braking feels okay um, it don't even really sound that nice to be honest so I don't think this is going to be one which is going to be worth $1.2 million. Because um, me personally, I think the only really good thing about it is the looks, in my opinion. Because um, the handling's not there, the speed's not there. So definitely the performance is non-existent. It's not great at all. Uh, the customizations aren't really that good either. Um, but it's just as well that this looks nice from stock. Because otherwise this would have been a fucking dud. But I'm happy with the way it looks, man. Like I said, I like the way it looks from stock. So um, I'm really happy with the way it looks. Performance-wise, it is shocking. And it is very expensive for what it is. So I don't think I'm going to be purchasing it myself. Um, mainly because of how much it's going to cost. And because the performance just ain't there. It, for a sports car, it's very, very slow. It's, this would have been better off in the saloon category or something like that. But hey-ho. It is in the sports category, unfortunately, um, which is a massive letdown for it uh, because it is a highly competitive category and this is going to be nowhere near competing with the best cars in that category, so that's a shame. Uh, but on that note, guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. If you did enjoy, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.